National political correspondent Steve Kornacki must be at the big board tonight to join us and start us off. Hey, Steve. Hey, Brian. Yeah, in that idea that this could be very close in terms of the battle for the House, uh, our new NBC margin uh, in his approval rating, that that might give them a fighting chance at keeping the House. This is where it gets, I think, particularly tricky and particularly key. The question... ...to Turkey as part of the government's investigation into Khashoggi. But Jared Kushner says they are still in a fact-finding phase. And later, Roger Stone famously has a tattoo of Richard Nixon on his back. These days, there may also be a large target competing for space. More on that when we continue as the 11th hour is just getting started on a Monday night. On the Democrats, he started by calling the American intelligence without any help from those Russian troll farms? Is he picking up where the Russians left off when it comes to fomenting divisions in the days before U.S. election? And Joe Biden with a passionate plea to Democrats to take back their country by getting out the vote. And another brawl fit for a bar room that went down just outside the Oval Office. Brand new reporting about two men with a penchant for scuffles. All those stories still coming up. Peace and harmony, as we mentioned, while taking another wide swing at the media. And later, Important news, a big ruling in Georgia today that could impact its already close governor's race. The 11th hour just getting started on this busy Wednesday night. The president's latest controversial move aimed directly at an audience of his followers. And later, we talked to a retired four-star U.S. Army general about sending the U.S. military to our southern border. The 11th hour, just getting started on a busy Tuesday night.